और गाइस वेलकम बैक टू क्रिप्टोलॉजी टीए आप रखा डाबरा राइट है वियल वी गुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द थ्योरम एट फर्स्ट बिकॉज़ दिस वन जस्ट विग्ड बिलो 3000 डॉलर्स राइट नाउ दैट्स अ क्लियर साइन दैट वी डोंट हैव मच स्ट्रेंथ एनीमोर ऑफ ऑफ दीस प्राइस पॉइंट्स राइट हियर नाउ एसेंशियली इफ यू वांट टू बी पुशिंग ऑल द वे टुवर्ड्स लेट्स से 3500 4000 डॉलर लेवल्स यू रियली हैव टू सिचुएट योर प्राइस एक्शन अबव 3300 डॉलर्स ऑन अ 12 आवर क्लोजिंग बेसिस नाउ एसेंशियली व्हाई डू आई से दिस बिकॉज़ इट्स बीन अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम सिंस वी हैव बीन कंसोलिडेटिंग ऑन दीस लेवल्स एंड फाइनली द 12 आवर candle resolved its direction to the downside closing below the 21 exponential itself sorry 21 simple i guess yeah 21 simple itself which has not happened ever since we had this entire entire trend under motion right now that is essentially not a death sentence not an immediate death sentence but this is telling us that maybe we do need to we do need to push a we do need to push a lot of a lot more liquidity into ethereum markets to actually take down 3300 dollar levels to the upside because it's been a very long time guys we have been across 3300 dollar levels ever since the first week of august itself now we're trying to enter the third week of august and we are right here essentially that's good for all the mid caps and micro caps and small cap alt coins as well but all of this market's structure depends on 3000 dollars ethereum right if 3000 dollars ethereum is not being held most likely we do start a bear trend in most of the crypto assets essentially not every single crypto asset a lot of crypto assets are looking strong against ethereum as well i think they will trend better if ethereum goes below 3000 dollars right but if this it if it actually holds on these levels for today or maybe tomorrow as well maybe we teleport back all the way towards 3500 once again and clear the 618 to the upside and then we can talk about 786 sitting in at 36 to 3700 dollars ethereum flat right until then the 12 hour candle is trading above these price points right here the price action is completely fine once we start closing 12 hour candles below 3000 dollar levels we're going to be coming back down all the way towards 2700 dollars flat on ethereum against usd right Now one more thing right here that the strength is kind of dissipating on the RSI as well guys remember now we are finally below the 60 reads right which means that ethereum is going to be choppy from these levels it's not going to be a complete one sided trend bias because guys this was your trend right here as soon as you started trending above the 60 reads and you were staying over 60 for a very long time that was your trending signal now since we're below 60 back again i think it's going to be very choppy and ethereum is going to take some time to resolve itself from these levels and well if it's going to be above 3000 dollars most of the crypto assets are going to be fine if it goes below 3000 death and destruction pretty soon to follow up okay we have solana next now this is reacting nicely off of the 60 dollar levels right here none of the early candles were allowed to close below 60 reads right uh, sorry 60 dollar levels right now this is good piece of price action guys to be honest with you if your price action is being held like this on to 4 hour or even 12 hour time frame which is going to be above 60 dollars yes solana will keep on trending to the upside now believe it or not guys the targets for solana Or at five hundred dollars, five hundred. That's a far fetched opinion. That's that. That's a complete stupid far fetched opinion. But I do feel that Solana is supposed to be on par with BNB or something like that. If BNB can go to six hundred, seven hundred dollars, well, 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 well. Solana is better than that in a lot of ways, guys. In, in crazy hundred, hundreds and thousands of ways, right? Okay, so right here we got, we got, we got a little pullback from the six one eight itself. Not exactly hitting the six one eight, but now we're getting supported by one dot two seventy two. So this entire range could be of a little consolidation for about a day or something like that. But once we start trending above this one six one eight level right here, you know the deal, guys. Two six one eight is sitting at three digit Solana, which could happen pretty soon, and that is where your second stall could happen. on the price action itself okay so just for a little comparative analysis between solana and what bnb did after the breakout of let's say fault our levels let's take a look at it. let's let's compare the both of them side by side i believe okay so bnb perpetual contracts on ftx right here All right all right so this was your zone right here you were consolidating on these levels for a very long time guys remember you started trending above $40 and there was no stop right you stopped all the way about almost all right at $700 straight up straight up nothing no stop in at all right after the breakout of the previous let's say consolidation or the entire reaccumulation area right here for a very which happened for a very long time after that you just simply rolled to the upside now i'm not saying that it's just 
exactly something like this is going to happen on Solana. I'm not saying something like this will happen or replicate back again, but we can take some references in terms of the price action behavior for these alternate DeFi crypto assets, right? Now, this is just a reference, guys. I'm not talking about the fact that Solana is just simply going to rip to the upside in one single line and stop all the way about $500 right here on these levels at 10.764. Maybe it could happen. Maybe it could not happen. But this is just for reference right here, guys. This is what these future future finance protocols can do in terms of the price action itself which is pretty much crazy which is pretty much crazy all right so let's get rid of this once again and let's talk about the price action back on solana right here so after you close your let's say 12 hour guys 12 hour is going to be your confirmation candle above 1618 sitting at 78 dollars then you'll be teleporting all the way towards three digit solana i do believe that that could happen until we are holding on to 60 dollar levels to the downside essentially any 12 hour candle closure below 60 dollars could mean a little more consolidation on solana onto these levels but until you are above this one on a closing basis, most likely we do teleport all the way towards 2618423676 and 10764 down the line. These are going to be your targets, guys. Remember, something like this happened on Axie Infinity as well. AXSUSDT, real quick for you guys. So Axie Infinity did something like that, guys. Essentially, you consolidated on these levels for... <laughs> for some time and right after the breakout right now you are somewhere alongside 786 i do believe yes you are at 786 guys remember these price action trends work like this okay something which is in trending motion trends like this it will halt at some key fibonacci levels but until the moving average posture and the structural integrity of the price action is completely fine it will keep on rolling to the upside with crazy amount of bearish divergence of the rsi as well it will keep on trending to the upside as far as the higher lows are being maintained on the price action guys now all of these things are just references right these things do happen in trending crypto assets and something like this was happening back in the, I, I i guess back in january february when dogecoin when dogecoin was trending like this and dogecoin had no means to stop man holy crap that was gung that that was just madness that was complete madness and i guess dogecoin did a 2618 <laughs> and there was no stopping pumped by elon musk and so much hype around the crypto asset that it just could not stop it just simply rolled onto the upside and something like that is happening with axie as well because a lot of people have finally started understanding that maybe playing computer games is not a problem anymore right because guys this one pays you to play I, a lot of crypto assets are going to be doing that nft market space are going to be your let's just say your, your one single place to go to earn money and play games as well now something like that is happening on solana as well now radium has a new idea which is going to be coming up pretty soon that's called star atlas now star atlas i think that's going to be the I don't know what the game looks like, but it's 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 gonna be a complete NFT market uh, place. But something like Axie Infinity itself on Solana, right? Now that's gonna be on Solana, and that is gonna be with extremely crazy graphics, guys. <laughs> if you've seen Axie Infinity, it's not that graphically rich or something like that, but. If I talk about Star Atlas for that matter, that's crazy, guys. That's crazy. You have that. You have RTX, uh, RTX shader models going on, and everything, everything which is on par with today's gaming, guys. That's going to be happening on Solana blockchain, and it's coming out pretty soon. So hype is certainly around that Star Atlas. Take a look at that and let me know what you find about it. Something like that could happen on Solana as well. Star Atlas could be the Axie for Solana, right? Okay, so with that said, let's take a look at Cardano real quick. Bouncing off of the 55 simple moving average right here. This is a good piece of price action, guys. And I'm sure you must have, you, you have some sort of hidden bullish damages between this one and this one, I do believe. Where's the RSI? There we go. This is a mad amount of hidden bullish divergence, guys. Okay, so one more thing about hidden bullish divergence. I don't think we can expect crazy amount of gains coming from hidden bullish divergence, guys. Now, regular bullish or regular bearish divergence are certainly good but your hidden bullish divergence are your essentially small time frames trend continuation uh, indicators right so for example this one right here could mean that the price action could teleport all the way towards these levels the uh, the high of the previous run right here which is going to be at 2.2 dollar levels and essentially that would not mean that we just simply going to be rocketing from these levels although we can although certainly we can but Essentially, my point being that hidden bullish or hidden bearish divergences are not that stressful, are not that crazy stressful like your regular divergences, right? So, 
our target to the upside is going to be at previous all time high setting at 2.4 dollar levels and once we start clearing this one to the upside 3.2 on the cards for cardano and until you are holding these price points on a 12 hour opening and a closing basis which is going to be the downside support at 1.9 dollar level flat is going to mean that cardano is looking completely fine and this price action structure is completely fine as well most likely we keep on trending to the upside all the way about 3 dollars coming pretty soon on ada right all the moving averages are looking fine volatility has started expanding guys remember whenever volatility expand even and as it like cardano also gets crazy volatile right now this is mad amount of volatility on a <laughs> on an asset which is crazy in terms of market capitalization guys you're looking at a 20 percent movement to the upside and the downside but your eventual trend is to the upside that is crazy amount of volatility right so this is what we're dealing with right here on ada not exactly the optimal up and up only situation it's going to be a lot of job to the upside and the downside but yes your directional bias with the moving averages is towards the upside okay with that said let's take a look at the next asset we have helium guys helium so if any one of you can do some fundamental research on helium let me know down in the comments or even in the discord community as well because this blockchain functions in a different paradigm altogether and they have been well they have been innovating like crazy fucked art to be honest with you so yeah so just take a look at this entire blockchain and if you can find some information some fundamental information let me know that in the discord community or in the comments down below as well i would really appreciate whoever does that i'm going to be appreciating i'm, I'm it's going to be mad or maybe i could give away something right <laughs> okay so for that matter helium's price action on the three time frame the macro structure for this asset is looking completely fine it's looking good guys to be honest with you so this is something like solana as well right and something like this is happening on origin protocol as well because origin protocol is well is kind of getting accumulated somewhere i think ogn is somewhere here helium is somewhere here all of these price actions are kind of correlated to each other guys crypto market they move to the upside together they go down together with some exceptions here and there but yes everything moves together <laughs> as a whole as a whole right so the upside targets for helium since we are attempting a breakout of this entire range after a very long time guys this one has been there for three to four months right here and we are finally attempting a breakout of this range right here so we can be looking at 2618 happening pretty soon on helium which is at 41 dollars flat and once we start trending above this one guys i'm not going to be putting a lot of focus into 4236 but i'm going to be focusing on 7618 sitting in at three digits helium right that could be crazy that could be crazy coming down the line so this on the macro is looking fine so i talk about the three time frame right here which is why the risk management is going to be in accordance to the three day time frame itself the three day price action behavior which is which is why our risk management is going to be below 15 dollars from these levels is going to be a 20 percent uh, zone for your risk management but as far as helium is maintaining its trend above 15 dollars it's going to be rolling to the upside without most likely without any hiccups right okay the volatility okay, we don't have volatility right here but we do have rsi starting to trend above 60 this is good piece of posture in terms of the strand itself okay so oh all right all right so this is finally a website which i've been looking for for a very long time poocoins.com uh, this is where most of the shit coins are listed at essentially every shit coin is listed over here right i, I, I tried i tried finding safe moon on trading view for a very long time because holy mother i a lot, lot of people are behind safe moon guys i don't understand why the heck is that the case but if you just take a look at safe moon against busd on pool coins this one is down 92% guys holy shit and i do remember the hype <laughs> i do remember the hype around these levels right here and most of the most of the diamond hands holding safe moon are down about 90% Ugh, ouch um that's got to hurt that's got to hurt right okay so just by looking at the price action i don't really know and i don't understand what this entire crypto asset does as a whole but i'm pretty much not interested just by looking at the price action itself this is shit guys this is this is called a shit coin right because all right now this channel is highly highly technically driven which is why this chart is shit which is why the coin is shit as well it's as simple as that guys this is this is money sucking uh, all right I, we, we can talk about crazy amount of things for this one but i just don't understand the craziness behind the hype right a lot of people were actually just aping into safe moon i don't know to to, to see what to see a 92 percent drawdown in the coming days i guess i i don't know guys this is this is shit piece of price action no moving averages no open interest nothing can help this one because this one is in a strong strong downtrend and this one broke this previous 
all time low and is in a price action discovery to the downside remember guys price action discovery happens in the upside and the downside as well and this is looking crazy strengthful in terms of the price action discovery heading to the downside to the downside and i don't know it stops at zero i guess <laughs> <laughs> what do we have next nothing all right nothing so let me know down in the comments guys if you can find anything about this blockchain this helium this helium thing altogether and yes maybe we could have some giveaway plan for that and you know if if your fundamental analysis is on par yes that would be appreciated by all the people in discord community guys this is all right now this is a, a crazy concept I, i i do believe that this is this is a different work around all together whenever you're dealing with blockchains you only talk about defi nft and how the finance can be revolutionized but there are certain other things which can be done with the help of blockchain as a technology as a whole so if you get to know what this blockchain actually does let me know down in the comments or let the entire community know in the discord channel as well links to everything in the description and i'm going to catch all of you in the next video pretty soon bye for now